My name is Melanie Roach Picos, and I am the Executive Director of the ALS Association of Wisconsin. ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. This is a disease that was named for the baseball great Lou Gehrig. Symptoms of ALS vary as much as the patients themselves vary. Um, there are two types of ALS, bulbar, and that usually starts in the throat and affects the patient's ability to talk very early on. It's almost like there's a thickness in the voice and it's hard to understand the person. The other way ALS can spread is through um, the feet and arms. Like patients will notice something different with their walking or a foot dragging or a heaviness in their feet, tripping. Um, things that are different like that or you know they'll think it's a rotator's cuff or a heaviness. But like I said it, it differs for each patient. The mission of the ALS Association is to help ALS patients and their families regain and keep some sense of normalcy in their lives. We work to change all this by offering things such as support groups, caregiver groups, a loan closet, and the Brian Trinastic grant program. The loan closet is a system in which we offer ALS patients the right to use different things that we have, you know, such as a wheelchair, canes, anything that makes their home safer and more accessible for them to get out. Um, we also lend communication devices, which um, restores their voice where they can tape messages. So it's really working together to lend to them whatever they might need so they do not have to purchase these things. The cost of an ALS patient's care, which is not covered by insurance, exceeds $200,000 a year. So in addition to being a devastating fatal disease, the financial hit is monumental. The journey of an ALS patient and their loved ones is not an easy one. There are no answers, and as you know, there are no cures right now. We are working very, very hard to change this, and there is hope. Hope for the future, and hope that in working together, we will find things that will slow ALS down and eventually find a cure for this disease. I would really recommend you to reach out to your ALS association, to reach out to loved ones. As I said previously, this is a very isolating disease and you need to know that you are not alone.